So I got up this morning and the dishwasher had the E15 code, which seems to be pretty popular with these Bosch dishwashers. When you do a search on it, you see a, a number of hits come up where the fault is water is found in the base of the dishwasher. And it's what that means is it's outside of the wash tub. First thing I did was look inside. You want to always make sure you clean the filter. I don't know if that's related or not, but you can pull this out and rinse it. But it's really below that point on the underside of the wash tub that water gets detected to give that E15 code. On this one, if you take the front panel off, it comes off as one piece. There's a lot of wires attached to the control panel here. So instead, I think we're going to try pulling the whole unit right out and look in from the side. If you peel back the rubber, there's a bracket right here with a screw that goes into the cabinet. And one right here. You also want to make sure you turn off the power. This one, we have a disconnect switch up top here and the water line, turn that off. And as you pull it out, you just feed that pipe through the hole, the access hole on the side. All right, now that it's loose, just grab the door and you can kind of wiggle it. And I'm still peeking in the cabinet at those hoses to make sure they don't get bound up on anything as I pull it out. Just flip this up out of the way. And sure enough, I do see some water down there, so we'll get some towels and wipe that out. This has happened to me a few times that I've gotten that error code. In those other prior times after it had been run overnight, I would see the error code, turn the power switch on the top of the unit off, and it would just reset and I would run it the next day and it was fine. And then every once in a while it would pop up. And I really thought the error meant that the water was not draining out of the tub completely and that it was sensing water sitting in the bottom there. This morning, that error code E15 popped up and it wouldn't reset. It just wouldn't even let me turn that power off. So I thought we need to figure out what's going on here. You know, there is water getting into this part of the dishwasher. A lot of people say it could just be the door seal and I did clean that off, hoping that might be it. First thing is getting this stuff out of here. So we'll just soak it up in some paper towels. This uh, styrofoam disc here, that acts as a float switch. So if water gets into that part, that'll float up and that's what causes the error. I guess it's good that it has this safety shut down so that if it is leaking water, it's not gonna leak all over the floor and damage your house. Still not satisfied. And it turns out if you pull up hard enough, it'll come up. So now I can uh, get this disc out of here. And again, that's not the fix. That's just getting the water out of there. We really need to understand where it leaked from in the first place. Peeking around some different areas first before I put it back in. I see the water valve right here and there's a little area surrounding it. I don't see any water in that. So if, if it was leaking from there, I would think I'd see a, a little bit of residual water. There's no obvious signs of where it might've been leaking from. You know, very well could be the door seal. Here I'm pointing out the seal on the sides and bottom of the door, as well as the door edges that all need to be cleaned. This black kick plate here, two Phillips head screws come out, that pops right out. And then behind it is this silver plate, and up higher are two T20 torque screws. Those are kind of hard to get at, they're up underneath, a right angle drive would help. That's where they say taking this whole front panel off gives you access to that. I first took those out, and that's how it sits in there. I didn't realize how it popped out, but there's these little tabs at the bottom. I had to get a flat blade screwdriver and push up on it there. I guess I could have pushed up at the top. It's hard to see under there to know what it looks like. But when I look in there, I do see some evidence of water pooling in this. I don't see it coming down the front side of that, but that does make me wonder if the seal on the bottom of the door is leaking or maybe on the sides. I, I do see this residue on the side here. So it could be coming down the side and just pooling in there, but that could possibly be contributing to the water getting in the lower basin. 
With that out, we can look underneath here and we can see in there. So I'll be able to see if the water is leaking down in there as it runs on the next cycle. After running a full cycle, I probed around again with the camera and did not see any water in the base. It looks like cleaning the door gaskets solved the leak. Until next time, I'm calling this fixed.